Hello friends, in this video, we are going to talk about super heterodyne receiver and the whole process of receiving in the super heterodyne receiver. If I am transmitting a signal, which is actually transmitted with the help of any channel and after traveling through the channel, it will receive by some receiver. So what we are basically going to do in this whole session is to understand that what is the processor of receiver, how it is converting the signal, received signal into our actual form. First of all, whenever we radiate the signal or we are transmitting the signal, it is in a form of an electromagnetic wave. So our receiver will accept that particular signal, that electromagnetic wave, then it will process the signal and then it will give us the desired or the wanted form of a signal. Let us look at the block diagram of the super heterodyne first, then we will discuss it one by one. So this is the block diagram of the super heterodyne receiver. It consists of RF amplifier. This is our antenna. RF amplifier, mixer, oscillator, then IF amplifier, detector, AF amplifier, loudspeaker. This AF amplifier stands for audio frequency amplifier. IF stands for intermediate frequency amplifier. So let us start our discussion. First of all, the receiver, the first step of the receiver is antenna, this antenna. So let us say an antenna is receiving the signal or the electromagnetic wave. So what we can say that antenna is accepting the electromagnetic wave. This antenna, when it is accepting, the signal it can be of various frequency because we don't have a single radio station we have so many radio stations so the function of antenna is to accept the band various types of frequency so how we can summarize the function of antenna first one that antenna will accept the electromagnetic wave of different frequency and then it will process that electromagnetic wave and convert it into an electrical wave. So what I can say that electromagnetic wave is converting into electrical wave. So we have two functions, accepting the electromagnetic wave, conversion of electromagnetic wave into electrical wave. Let me write down this point. accepting electromagnetic wave of various frequency and second point conversion of electromagnetic wave into electrical wave now one of the most important point for the antenna is that it is accepting electromagnetic wave but it do not know that what should be my frequency for example, I want to accept the frequency of 98.3 kilohertz. This is how I tuned my receiver. But our antenna is accepting 98.3, 98.4, 98.5. So still, we are not getting our desired frequency. So we will go back to our block diagram and we will try to find the answer. Now antenna is accepted the frequencies, various types of frequency. We have a tuned amplifier or this RF amplifier, radio frequency amplifier. The working of this radio frequency amplifier is that if I want, let's say, I tuned my radio at, I wanted to listen the music at 98.3. Let's say this is my frequency of my station. So what our radio frequency, frequency amplifier will do, it will just select the desired frequency. It means that 
it will reject all other frequency and just accept that particular electrical wave which consists of 98.3 frequency reject all the frequency and accept only 98.3 frequency so what i can say the working of radio frequency amplifier is to select the desired frequency selectivity of any frequency or the desired frequency is the working of our radio frequency amplifier so let me note down this point rf amplifier select desired frequency second one it also amplify though its main work is to select the frequency but as it is also amplifier so it will amplify our weak signal that signal which already transmitted from a long distance so it will also amplify our weak signal now after getting our desired frequency now our function is to process that signal because still it is not a form of a desired form for example if i am sending a voice signal that voice signal is actually converted into electromagnetic wave then electrical wave is still my main transmitted signal it is supposed to be in the form of a voice signal or a sound wave we are not getting a sound wave still we need to process it further so let us get the answer for this question we accept the frequency of so many stations then we select our desired frequency not desired frequency is a very high frequency and we are not interested in a very high frequency we are interested in a low frequency signal which was actually transmitted by me during the whole process of modulation so what mixer will do this third block the mixer will actually convert my desired frequency into a medium frequency with the help of local oscillator local oscillator will produce some frequency and we will actually this is our mixer now mixer will get the frequency desired frequency as well as the local oscillator frequency they will subtract or they will also adding of a frequency or subtracting of the frequency we will just get a medium frequency and that process is actually known as heterodyne if i am converting a high frequency signal into a mixed band frequency signal that process is known as heterodyne that's why this receiver is also known as super heterodyne receiver that super heterodyne receiver is actually performing this heterodyne process and heterodyne process is nothing but the difference or addition between the high frequency and the local oscillator frequency signal so that it is producing a medium frequency let me call this frequency as intermediate frequency so i have written down the working of mixer is that first one mixer is actually converting our tuned frequency tuned is desired frequency into intermediate frequency or a medium frequency first of all our mixer is actually converting the tuned frequency into a medium frequency with the help of mixing and this mixing is doing with a local oscillator now what i am saying that instead of calling this as a medium frequency i am using this term intermediate frequency this medium frequency is known as intermediate frequency so if someone is asking me to explain the working of this mixer so what we can say that mixer is actually performing the process of mixing by converting the tuned frequency into the medium frequency with the help of local oscillator such a process is also known as heterodyne process and that medium frequency is known as intermediate frequency now if i'll converting a intermediate frequency that signal has to be amplified so for that purpose we will have a new block which is known as 
IF amplifier that is intermediate amplifier. By introducing this IF amplifier, we can increase the selectivity because sometimes even though we have a radio frequency amplifier, sometimes the selectivity is get affected because of the noise. So this IF amplifier will ensure the more selectivity, sensitivity, fidelity in our communication system. So the intermediate frequency signal will amplify with the help of this IF amplifier so that we can increase the selectivity, sensitivity, and fidelity. Fidelity, basically, we are actually reducing the interference or what we can understand by this term, we are actually reducing the losses. That's it. So, next one is detector. After converting our tuned frequency signal into the intermediate frequency, now we will process our signal with the help of this detector. Basically, detector will perform the process of demodulation. Whatever signal is actually receiving, it is in a modulated form. Now our work is to convert that modulated signal into an unmodulated signal. So detector will perform demodulation. So detector will detect. So what I can say it will perform demodulation and after performing the demodulation we can get our information. So I can say it will detect if I am sending audio signal. So I can say it will detect audio signal. So it will detect the audio signal. One of the most important part of the receiver that detector will detect or I can also say will demodulate our signal and after demodulating it will extract the information from the signal from that modulated signal. Let us go through the next block. Audio frequency amplifier. So after detection or after demodulation, our signal is in the form of an audio frequency that is it consists of a low frequency signal. Still that low frequency signal need to be boost up. So audio frequency amplifier will help us to amplify that audio signal. That is why we have this audio frequency signal amplifier. After this, after the amplification, the signal is transmitted through the loudspeaker. Now, what is the work of loudspeaker? That that particular electrical wave, which is of audio frequency, will convert into sound wave which was our actual transmitted information. This is what I sent. I sent a voice signal. Now I am receiving my signal in the form of a sound wave with the help of loudspeaker. So this is how our signal is actually processed when we received it. That first is go through the antenna. Then after the antenna, we have a radio frequency amplifier. Then mixing that is mixer the intermediate frequency amplifier then detector then we have a radio frequency amplifier then loudspeaker after all this process we got our information or we received our information thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikira and subscribe to ikira